Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on adding RP doors to your levels. Um, this is the uh, RP door uh, project on, from GitHub. And you'll see that the project has these options on here. Um, you're free to, to play this and you can you know go up and open and close doors here. Um, and this shows the different mechanisms that are available. Uh, so you have different types of doors. Um, but effectively what, when you're importing it you'll just import the, the base um, and you'll be most interested in these kind of settings here but let's go ahead we don't want to modify anything in here um, because obviously the uh, vanilla RP and those those other game modes um, depend on this they, they expect you not to change this so you go ahead and click migrate and at this point you just want to migrate everything ensure that you do not pick up these items so we do not need these just simply this um so this is what you want to take over you can not take the definition um i'm pretty sure we, we actually do not select definition that's one thing you don't want to take over so you just want effectively the data so you okay this and then you put it to wherever you need whatever folder in this case we've dutch rp and i've already put it in there so no point me adding it in uh, but if i just remember I always select the contents folder um you know if i go in here you'll actually see if i look up 327 this one you'll see that we have in here uh, the ready the, the the files present okay again you don't have to take the maps or the texture because that's that's just these example stuff but I would migrate it all so if you go over to the RP map this is the Dutch one again it's compiling shaders so please ignore the uh, default materials at this moment of time but effectively here we have um, our door let me just wind this speed down a bit here we have our door here um, and this is one already been added in but let's say I, I want to add another one I'm gonna go over the far side here it's just to some um, some door that's not been done so this is just a standard kind of door um, we'll have a static mesh for it here so I'm gonna there's our static mesh for it the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I go in here and in here go to the my door uh, and effectively I just want to grab the door actor so let me just come back a wee bit so here's our door actor okay um, and you notice it doesn't look particularly great. It's just a cube. You know, we need to obviously work with it a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is just um, ensure that we uh, alter things to look like this door. Okay, so I'm going to, again, uh, select the door. Um, I'm going to go get the static mesh. Um, I'm going to select this guy and go to its uh, mesh. Where are we? There we go. It's our mesh. And just ensure that's copied over okay so there's our door okay it's not centered um that's the the key thing and and um i suppose this is probably the the most difficult part is getting that centering right because you know, the door's not off center um i'm going to move the door down and remember this point here this dot is our hinge that's our hinge point okay so if you look at uh, hinge that's it there it's the hinge point so we need to move this forward on the hinge okay so again i need to move right in I think move now this is kind of trial and error and most of the uh, the doors you will want to um, click on the hinge to sort of see the hinge point uh, looks good for that hinge um, depending on your door you might want to put it some other location but that's good now the collision box so this is the thing that notices the overlap and you'll notice that it's it's quite out of um, location there so once a, a player overlaps this effectively they will get the mess to open or close buy or you know the various options so you make it as big as as you want it's up to yourself um in this case i'm just going to delete the original door uh, and move this back in place i'm not going to spend much time getting it correct because this is obviously something you'll want to do uh i'll move it up okay that's pretty much it okay there's the door in uh we then can go and change the setting so test door set a price for it 250 uh, metadata at the minute uh, we leave blank um, and allow groups again we leave blank uh, if you need more information on that uh, please please visit discord um, so we can set up things that can do or be owned we can turn that on off at a higher level instead of the admin the main thing that you want to do is the visual setup um, so this allows you to pick basically whether it's a swing door or a move to rotate door okay so there's two different types in there um, uh, and again you'll want to set it up correctly you want to set your angles and then if you're doing the oops the move to uh move to or rotate to you can basically specify where it rotates so that's the door that moves up or like a garage door um you know will, will rotate over the top you know so 
that's effectively these types of door. Um, so this is just your standard hinge. This is your move to and rotate, just different ways of doing it. Okay. Then we have our, our door that's set up. Uh, we can change the signs. These are default signs that come here, uh, come with it. Um, you're free to pick your own within the level. It doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> these are purely plant side and the rest is, is left as is. Um, and that's all there is to adding a door. I would recommend adding your first door and saving a, a, and playing with it. Um, just to ensure that you don't run into any problems. Um, but as always, um, yeah, ping us on Discord. And we'll, we'll have a chat. Thanks.